All right, so you know how like they have those tiny hands for tiny hands? Uh, well, it's actually pretty horrifying. Hey everyone, Kevin here again with another toy making video. This one's gonna be announcing my new sort of project I'll be doing. I haven't really figured out the title yet, but I guess it could be called something like the capsule toy creation series. Um, so basically I'll be creating all kinds of different gachapon toys or capsule toys and um, they'll all fit inside of these like toy vending capsules, uh, things like this. Making them capsule size gives me the opportunity to sort of create as many ideas as I can and not get too stuck up on like one of them or anything like that. I think that it's going to be a good way to um, exercise like my creativity and ability to come up with ideas. And the other cool thing about these toys is that I'll actually be making them free to download. So all of these new toys, you'll be able to 3D print them yourself or if you don't have a 3D printer, if you, you can um, order them online through like a 3D printing uh, service like Shapeways or something like that. I just wanted to make my toys more affordable and more accessible for everyone. And I figured that this was the best way to do it. So all these toys, there'll be STL file links for everything and you can download them and print them yourself and make them. So the first toy that I decided to make in this series is going to be uh, finger puppets. I felt like that was like a fun and sort of simple idea to do. Um, and usually the first thing that I do when I create a new toy is I come up with a sketch. So. Here is the first sketch that I did and as you can see it's just like this simple like cat character and um, I thought it would be kind of interesting to do like a paw as well so there will be like two different versions of the finger puppet and uh, yeah so this is going to be like a good guide for me when I start 3D modeling just so that I know like what I'm going to be doing with this design um, and it's very basic it's like you're just creating uh, basically like a glove for your finger and then uh, putting like a head on it like a character's face and things like that. Um, so yeah, um, with this sketch, um, I went into the 3D modeling, which I'm going to show you now. Autodesk Fusion 360 is a free software. Just get the startup or educational license. I usually start with basic shapes and then manipulate them to achieve the look I want. In the sculpt mode, you can push and pull vertex points that control the curvature of a solid form. I use this for the head of the cat figure. For the arms, I drew a 2D path and then used the pipe function to create a 3D form around that path. I did the same thing for the tail. After that, I added a face and it's pretty much done. I have another video that shows this process more in depth if you're interested. For the paw, I drew four circles to make the main shape. Then I extruded them into a solid form. I added a fillet to both sides, but I made one more curved than the other. To make the paw print, I drew some more 2D shapes and then turned those into solids as well. I also decided to add claws to the paw to extend them a bit further. That helped with making the tiny paws that fit on top of them. Now for the 3D printing, I used a flexible PLA filament. If you want to know which one, I put a link in the description below. Using flexible filaments is tricky since you have to print it slow or it'll jam up. There's also some stringiness that happens but I can clean it up later. It took a lot of trial and error but I was finally able to get some successful prints. To deal with the leftover strings of plastic, I used my favorite pair of flush cutters. I did the same thing for the paw. That's better, all cleaned up. I wanted the paw print to stand out more so I thought it would be best to make them a different color. To achieve this, I made them into separate pieces that are glued on. Super glue works great for bonding flexible filaments, or anything really. Alright, I've got them in their capsules and they fit pretty well. You do need to squish them down a bit but that's not a problem since they're printed with flexible material. You can print them at whatever size you want though so they'll work for both kids or adults. Now you're probably wondering, what are these toys even good for? Well I'm glad you asked need to decide who gets the remote? These bad boys are perfect for a catastrophic thumb wrestling match. Got an itch you can't reach? These cat paws have superior scratching ability. There's also a high speed setting. Now if you're still feeling itchy, maybe it's time to take a shower. Why not do it in style with your cat paws? These tiny claws will help you get that extra deep clean. They're even useful for daily conversation. Hey, dinner's ready. Sure, let me just pause this. All right, cool. With the tiny paw attachment, using chopsticks just got a whole lot easier. The paws help grab food better so you don't miss a single bite. You won't even know they're there. See for yourself. 
<laughs> so another thing that I have to announce is that I'll be starting a Patreon. So for those of you who want to support my channel a little bit extra, um, I'll be starting that and you can join my Patreon and get access to different rewards like the actual project files for all these 3D models. So although I'll be making the STL files for you to download, if you guys are into like designing your own toys or you just wanna see how I sort of build things and look at my files, um, I'll be putting those up on the Patreon as a reward. And there will also be other things like I'll be posting weekly updates on what I'm doing and be on there. So if you guys have questions about anything, um, I'll also be posting like other good resources for you guys that don't really get made into a video just because they're like, like they just don't fit in the video or anything. Um, but yeah, there'll just be like tons of extra behind the scenes content on my Patreon. So yeah, check that out if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed the process of me coming up with this design and then prototyping it. If you want to download these files and print them yourself and, you know, make these things, definitely go ahead and do that. The links will be in the description. Um, if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do that too and have access to the project files. Thanks again for hanging around and um, checking out my stuff. I'll have more, ho hopefully less horrifying designs coming out. Thank you guys for, you know, joining me on this whole learning experience. And um, I hope to create some more fun toys for you all. So yeah, see ya. Um, it actually kind of reminds me of like those face hugger things in Alien vs Predator. Um, I'm just kind of like afraid to just like wake up in the middle of the night and have this like clamp on your face and just. Ah!